guys, it's Kristen from Anime Collective back with part two of my collection tour. So you guys may have already seen part one, but if you haven't, definitely check that as well because I go over the bulk of my collection, but I'm gonna go over more manga, figures, and statues today. All right, let's go take a look. We're gonna start off in the bedroom and then we're gonna go into the office. In part one of this tour, I showed you guys my main collection room in the living room, as well as most of my anime figure and statue collection. Today I'm going to show you guys the rest of our house and we are going to start off in the bedroom with this tall Billy bookcase here. This bookcase is where I put most of my shonen or longer running shonen and I have doors on this one because my little guy Mikazuki likes to chew on the manga. But on the first shelf up here I have Bakamon. I was going to wait for the box set but I got impatient so I just decided to get the individuals. But I have all of them on order with right stuff right now but a lot of them haven't shipped out yet so I only have 2 through 10 right now. Chainsaw Man is one I'm caught up with, with volumes 1 through 6. I've already read this one fully in the Viz app, and it's my favorite to release within recent years. Also, I can't wait to see this one animated by MAPPA. Next is D. Gray Man, and this is a highly underrated series. If it keeps up, this one could end up being my new favorite shonen, but have volumes 1 through 6, 8, 10, 11, 13, 15, 19 through 21, and 24 through 27. The rest are on back order, so I'm still waiting to get those. And then I have Dragon Ball Z Complete, waiting to get the box set for Dragon Ball as well and still need to get Super 2, but DBZ is one that's nostalgic for Brad and I since we both grew up with the anime, so we wanted to get the manga as well. Also in front of these volumes, I have some WCFs with my favorites being this Future Trunks versus Mecha Frieza setup I have here. I also have Fairy Tale up through volume 43. I think that's three or four box sets, I can't remember, but I've been getting these since they're cheaper. This is one Brad is currently reading, so he has volume 31 out right now, but another great series. I also really want to get Rave Master by him, but I'm holding out until I find it at a good price. Fire Force 1 through 23 is up next. Keeping up with this one as it releases, I love the designs of all the covers. It's just a good series all around. I love Atsushi Okubo's style and the characters he designs, but my favorite characters have to be Benny Maru and Arthur. I also have Jack Frost 1 through 7 and 9, just missing volume 8 of this one, but that one is harder to find. This is one I got because it's horror based but also has a great sense of humor. The art is great and I've been into collecting Mama lately and there are a lot of great series out there and I can't wait to get the Hellbound by the way which is set to release next month. Keikaishi 3 through 10 was a recent half price find so I recently got into this one. I'm big into picking up underrated shonen so I had to get this as well but I have most of the rest of the volumes I need in shipment from Right Stuff right now. I also have My Hero Academia 1 through 29, so that's caught up. This recent arc is shaping up to be my favorite, but it's just getting more and more awesome as it continues. These are the Naruto 3-in-1s, and I have up through volume 27, but these are one of the first things I ever purchased. Actually, I think they were the first, but I knew nothing, so I picked up the 3-in-1s not even knowing there were box sets. Then I discovered the box set, so I have the individuals up through volume 72, which completes the series. I also have Naruto the 7th Hokage and the Scarlet Spring, which is a precursor to Boruto. But it's no secret that I love Naruto and the manga is one of my all-time favorites. Prince of Tennis volumes 1 through 3 and 11 through 22 are volumes I found at Half Price Books. I've been into sports manga lately and I couldn't pass these up when I saw them. Shaman King is one I've been wanting to read for a long time, but the individual volumes are super expensive. Couldn't be happier that Kodansha are re-releasing the series in omnibus format, so I have volumes 1 through 3. And finally, on this shelf, I have Slam Dunk 1, 4, 7, 8, 13 through 18, 20, 21, 23, and 26 through 28. So I'm missing a few that are on back order right now with right stuff. This one's in the Viz app, but I want to own all of Takahiko Inoue's manga, so I'm excited to get the rest of these when they ship out. Last thing I want to show you guys before we go into the office is this IKEA case here. I put some LED strip lights in this one that I can control with my phone, but I'll link to that in the description below. Right now, this case is being used as temporary housing for statues that I'm waiting for Maji cases for because the cases take a while to ship. But I have the 1-4 scale MH Studio Naruto in here right now, but I haven't quite figured out what I want to do here just yet. I have plans to get some more streetwear related statues. One arrived last week, by the way, because I have some of my favorite sneakers on display up here. So maybe something like that, as well as some figures, because I do have some Radio Eva figures on pre-order. Not really related, but I'm also a big sneakerhead. Love all of these up here, but my all-time favorites have to be the acronym Presto and the Satin Blacks. That is all the manga and figures I have in the bedroom, but there's more in the office. Before we get into the office, though, I want to show you some stuff I have on display in my entryway. First up, I have Kahasik's Naruto Universe print here. He's one of my favorite artists, and this is what I wanted people to see when they first walk into my place. But I got his Geek Lay print, so the colors are super bold, and I love the colors he chooses. I'll be sure to link any of the artists I mentioned in this video in the description. 
I also have a Detolf in this nook by my office that has some Gundams on display. But my favorite shelf in this one is the one with the Hero Mega House figure that I just got this month in the high resolution Wing Gundam kit. But yeah, this is just a few of the kits we've built and we have these on display in this Detolf. All right, so next to the den, the office is my favorite room. I've just set up my workstation in a way that really brings me joy and I love working here. But real quick, in case you guys are wondering, I have a sit-stand desk from Autonomous because I'm at my desk a lot. My monitor is the 35-inch HP Omen, probably overkill for me, but this was actually Brad's monitor, but he upgraded recently, so I happily took it off his hands. I also have the White Fox mechanical keyboard with the GMK Noel keycaps. Went this route because I love the way mechanical keyboards feel and sound. And above my desk on the wall, I have one of my favorite prints, the 2018 SDCC My Hero Academia print. Brad's seven-string guitar is over here as well. He bought this just so he could play songs from bands like Periphery. But we are big into music as well, and I actually was a music photographer before I started the site and channel. I don't think I've ever shared that with you guys before, but yeah, we both love music, so wanted to mention that real quick as well. And above that, I have some prints from another favorite artist of mine, Simon K. Bell. One of my dreams is to one day get a tattoo by him, but for now I am happy with looking at his art on my wall every day, but I have his prints of two of my faves, Hiyaki, Maru, and Gojo. That's pretty much it for my side, but on the other side of the room is Brad's workstation. He is a web developer, so he has this ridiculously large monitor, the 49-inch Samsung Odyssey G9. He also has a custom-built mechanical keyboard with the GMK laser keycaps and an Android on his desk, but his is of Ichigo. Above his desk, he has a wall of prints from Mike Mitchell, an artist we've grown to love after discovering him at MondoCon one year, but his prints are fun to look at. My personal favorite is this skull that looks like he just ate someone is in the top left corner, but all of them are awesome when we are hoping to get more. Next to his desk, we put a Billy bookcase, and this is where we have most of our mecha series on display. But before I show you guys the manga, I want to show you the two PG kits we have on top. The PG Exia and the Dragon Momoka Unicorn, and Brad wanted me to point out that both of these are works in progress, but I love when these are lit up and they look great on top of the bookcase. So on the first shelf of the Billy, we have one of the most beautiful additions I have in the entire collection, the Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin hardcovers, which are complete with 1 through 12. And at the center of this shelf, we put one of my favorite figures on display, the Mega House Char figure. Behind him is the Mobile Suit Gundam Blue Destiny volume, and next to that is volumes 1 through 16 of Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt which is caught up and is one of our favorite Gundam manga releases so far. On the next shelf, I have Gundam Wing Volumes 1-14, through 14, which completes the series. If you didn't enjoy the anime, I highly recommend giving the manga a shot. It fills in a lot of the plot holes that are present in the anime, and the story is told better in this one, and is a more complete retelling of the original. The anime is nostalgic and holds a special place in our heart because we grew up watching it, but the manga is better all around if you are looking to get into Gundam Wing. Next to those, we have Gundam Wing Episode 0 and Blind Target. I think all of these next volumes are actually half price books finds, but Episode 0 takes place before Gundam Wing and Blind Target fills in some gaps between Gundam Wing's anime and its continuation Endless Waltz. Then we have Mobile Suit Gundam The Last Outpost, and I have Volumes 1 and 2 of this one, so I think I'm just missing Volume 3. But this is a Gundam Wing side story that features a new cast of characters. I also have Gundam Seed. These were half price books finds, and Seed has some of my favorite pilots and mobile suits, so I was excited to find these on the shelf for cheap. But this one is based on the anime, so it's an adaptation. There are only five volumes, so I'm missing two of them right now, but I'm picking these up as I find them. Next is Gundam Seed Astray, which is a collection of Seed side stories, and this one has three volumes, so that one is a complete. And I know one of these spines is super faded, but I decided to deal with it because it was at half price for only $4. Then Seed Estray R, Volumes 1 through 4, which is complete as well, and Seed X Estray, which is complete with Volumes 1 and 2. If you can't tell, Brad is a big Estray fan. I also found some Gundam 00 volumes at half price, but there's a novel and manga of this one. I have Volume 3 of the novel and Volume 3 of the manga, so I still need two volumes of each. Gundam 00 is one of my personal favorites, so I'm working to complete these. I also really want to get Gundam 00F, which is also out of print and is at the top of my wish list. Hoping I find those one day for a good price as well. All of the ones I just showed you guys are from the Gundam universe, but I also have some of my other favorite mecha series on this shelf that I'm trying to complete as well. First up is Code Geass Volume 4, but I found this one for $4 at half price, which I couldn't believe because they normally go for around $20 to $30. Then I have two volumes, Volumes 2 and 3 of Eureka 7, which is an adaptation of the anime and is written by the creators of Dead Man Wonderland. But I'm still missing four volumes of this one. And another half price find I couldn't believe I found was volumes 1 and 2 of Gurren Lagann, and these volumes feature some of my favorite designs. But I think I found these for $6 a piece, so those were an awesome find. 
And finally, we have volumes one through two of 86, which is a more recent favorite. The anime is great and the manga adaptation is great as well. So you can't really go wrong with either if you're interested in checking it out. And on the bottom shelf, we have some graphic novels. Most of these are actually Brad's, with a few of them being mine, um, The Monster and The Wayward. If you're someone who is looking to get into a graphic novel that is somewhat inspired by the manga and anime industry, I highly recommend these two. But Brad has a lot of his favorite omnibuses here as well. And on this wall next to everything, he has one of his favorite prints, the Misfits Shepherd Fairy print. And on this other wall in the office, we have another print by Kahasik, the Hunter Hunter Universe print. And this is probably my favorite by him. I love looking at it because it has all of the memorable moments from the series on it and it brings me a lot of joy. Every time I look at this print, I find something new as well and the colors are just so vivid and beautiful. I also have some stuff in the office closet here that I want to show you guys real quick, including a bookcase with more manga. First though, I want to show you the shelf at top here where we have some of our Gunpla backlog. We have more elsewhere, but this is like our cue of what we want to build next, and I'm currently building the RG Evangelion Unit 8, and Brad is building the Zero Gravity 1100 Judge. I'm a huge fan of RG kits just because of our articulation and whatnot, but I like building MG kits too, so I typically build those. But Brad likes building mostly MG and PG kits, so we have quite a few to get through up here. I got a few new kits in recently too that I'll show you in this month's upcoming haul. I also wanted to show you guys how we store extra Nendoroid parts and Gundam kits that are awaiting paint. We got these containers from Michaels, and I'll link to those in the description below, but they are awesome storage solutions for both. And now onto the final Billy bookcase I have in the house as of now. So this is pretty much a catch-all bookcase because I already ran out of space and need to go buy more Billy bookcases. This is where I have stuff temporarily stored either if they are severely incomplete or if I just ran out of space to display them elsewhere. And I should have these organized by publisher. First Shelf starts off with Black Clover Volumes 1 and 2. I've been reading this one in the Shonen Jump app and I'm severely behind with buying the volumes. We'll definitely be getting these sometime when they go on sale though because I really enjoy the series. Then I have a random volume of Blue Exorcist, Volume 21, another that I need to catch up on but have fully read in the app. Next is Boruto Volumes 1 through 9. Unsure whether or not I'm going to continue buying these as of now, but I'm caught up on reading the chapters thanks to the Viz app. Bungo Stray Dogs Beast is one that I need to add next to the Bungo volumes but ran out of room on that shelf, so it will go after those once I get a new Billy. Can't have too much Bungo though, and it offers a new perspective with Octagawa being in the Armed Detective Agency. Dr. Slump Volumes 3 and 7 through 12 are ones I found at half price not too long ago, so I still need to pick up the rest of those. Also recently found Gintama Volume 2. I love the anime so much and decided to get the manga also, but I am missing 22 volumes of this one, so quite a ways to go. Hiding Closer is Haro Aso's first manga, and I found Volumes 1 and 2 on the shelf at half price. A manga with a chainsaw-wielding teddy bear, need I say more. I have the rest of the volumes, but just got those in this month, and they will be in my next manga haul. And last up on the shelf is all the volumes from the first One Piece box set, so I have volumes 1 through 23. I still need to get the rest of the box sets, but box sets are hard to get recently. Been keeping up with the chapters in the Viz app, but I want to have all of these in physical copies too. I also have volumes 1 and 2 of the novel Ace's Story, so that's complete. I normally don't buy light novels, but Ace is one of my favorite characters in One Piece, so I pick these up. A few random volumes are up next. Siren Volume 1. I need to get the rest of these ASAP because Siren is one of my favorite shonen. Also, it's on the Viz app if you'd like to check it out. Another novel, Sasuke Story, Spy Family Volume 5. The rest of these are on order with right stuff, though. It's hilarious, but also heartwarming, and I love the dynamics and interactions between the characters. Twin Star Exorcist Volume 1 was a random half price find, but I still need to get the rest of those. And Can't Stop Cursing You is a new series that I like. But the MC, Sayama, somewhat reminds me of Dazai from Bungo. Nyankis is another one I picked up. All I saw was something about street cats portrayed as delinquents, and I bought this one, so I have up through Volume 6. School Life Volume 1, I have 11 more volumes to get of the series, but I love my zombie stories, and this one had a unique twist, so I need to get the rest. Then I have Triage X Volumes 1, 3, 6, 8, 9, 11, 13, 14, and 16 through 21. I love High School of the Dead, so I wanted to get this one by Shoji Saito as well. I'm missing quite a few, but it's really difficult to find some of these volumes for a reasonable price, so I'm picking up the rest as I find them. Evangelion Angelic Days Volume 1 is another half-price find, but these are out of print, so I got myself into another difficult series to find, which seems to be the story of my life. Still need 5 volumes before this one is complete. The next ones on the shelf are Tokyo Pop volumes. These volumes, GTO 1-6, through 6, are some of my favorites in the collection. Found these for an incredible deal at half price, so I finally pulled the trigger on them, but picking these up as I find them in good condition also. 
Gundam A Cold du Ciel is set in the Universal Century. These will go up on the shelf with the rest of my Gundam manga when they are more complete, but right now I only have volumes 8 and 9, so I need 7 more volumes to complete the series. Planets Volume 1 was a half price find and it was in crispy condition. Was planning to get the omnibuses, but found this on the shelf and decided to start collecting the individuals instead. And then I have volumes 1 through 13 of the Rising of the Shield Heroes manga. I'm not typically a fan of Izakai, but I really love this one. If you have any other recommendations I should check out though, let me know. Berserk of Gluttony Volumes 1 through 3 is one I've recently gotten into. I wouldn't say it's the most amazing series I've ever read so far, but it is enjoyable and the main character has a cool skill called Gluttony. Jack the Ripper Hellblade Volumes 1, 2, 3, 5 are up next, and I'm only missing one of this one, Volume 4. Still having a really hard time finding this one, but I've read a few volumes and it is awesome so far. Beautiful art, well-drawn battles, and blood and gore. Highly recommend this one if you're a fan of Helsing. Mars Red Volume 1 is one I just got recently, got this because I enjoyed the anime. Ajin is one that was recommended to me by you guys a lot, so I'm picking it up. Volume 1 and the remaining volumes I need are on order, but I have Volumes 2 through 6 right now. Next to those is Berserk Flame Dragon Knight, which is Grumbeld's origin story and is a novel written by Makoto Fukami, the scriptwriter for Psychopaths, and he worked on the Berserk anime as well. But it also has some beautiful illustrations by Kentaro Miura in the volume also. Then I have more Dogon Rampa volumes. I showed you guys some of these in my first collection tour video, but here are all of the remaining volumes I have. Drifters is another series by Koto Hirano, the creator of Helsing. I really want to read this one, but I'm still in search of volumes 1 through 3, and then it will be complete. But if you guys are still in need of volumes 4, 5, and 6, I found those at Right Stuff. I love stories that look like one thing and turn out to be something else entirely, and Elfin Lead is one of those. So I have Omnibuses 1 through 4, and these fully collect the series. This is one that people either love or hate, but I'm in the love category. I will admit that it isn't the most incredible I've seen when it comes to art, but this is something I personally can overlook at times when a story is as good as this one. Trigon Multiple Bullets. This one is a half price books find. It is a collection of one-shot stories set in the Trigon universe. Really hoping Dark Horse releases deluxe editions of Trigon so I can finally own the series. Next, I have Given Volumes 1 through 4, and I almost don't even want to say this one is a BL series because I don't want some people to hear that and automatically dismiss it, but I feel like a lot of people are missing out on this one. The anime is one of my favorites, and while I really enjoy the manga too, the anime allows you to experience the music these musicians create, so it brought it to life for me. Both the manga and anime are good though. Music is one of my favorite things, so I was immediately interested in Given, but it's the way the characters connect through music and how they express themselves with it that keeps me invested. Then we have Satomo Nihei's Posums. So I have up through volumes 1 through 7 of that one. This one and Fire Punch have a similar setting, but the MCs also have similar struggles, so I would recommend this one if you enjoyed Fire Punch. But the art style in this one is unique, even for a Satomo Nihei story, and I've really liked it so far. And on the bottom shelf, I have Raw Hero, which is Akira Hiramoto's latest work, and you may know him from Prison School. This one is only going to have 6 volumes, but I have up through 1 through 4 right now. It's not anywhere near the level of Prison School, which I love, but it's an okay series. The art is great and I really like the MC, but it doesn't really feel like the plot is going anywhere and with it ending soon, it feels a bit rushed. Not that I can't enjoy these types of series because I did with Black Torch, but this one didn't hook me as much as that one did. Then I have a random volume of The Way of the House Husband, Volume 4. I've been wanting to get this one and found this volume at half price for a good price, so I decided to finally get into it, but this series has top-notch art and great humor. Next are four random JoJo's volumes. I read Volume 1 to get a feel if it'd be something I'd enjoy, and I very quickly discovered I would. I'm waiting for them to go on sale to get the rest of the volumes because there's a lot and it intimidates me, but I also have Volumes 2, 3, and 9 of Part 3, which I found at half price. The only manga I currently own from Junji Ito right now is Uzumaki, but in addition to Uzumaki, I have read a few of his other works digitally like Censor and Love Sickness. I liked Uzumaki, but I wasn't a fan of the other two. I am a huge horror fan, but his works aren't connecting with me just yet, and I'm hoping that once I get into his other series like Gyo and Tomi, that something will finally click. I'm going to give him a fair chance though, but right now I'm not sure what to think. For the Kid I Saw in My Dreams is one I picked up because I love Kei Sanbei's other manga Erased. Only have volumes 1 and 2 right now, but Right Stuff just started running a big Yim Press sale, so I'll probably be picking up the rest of these this week. And I know, this is kind of embarrassing, I only have volumes 1 and 2 of Vinland Saga, and I really need to get caught up because this is actually one of my favorite manga, I just need to go and buy the rest of them. For some reason though, I've been slacking. Other than Vagabond though, this is one of the top I always recommend if you're looking for something to read after Berserk. The Soul Eater Perfect Editions are next and I have up through Volume 4, so this one is caught up. I like that the covers feature a different character and the spines look awesome on the shelf. The print quality of these is great too, but I'll show you guys all of that in a future review. 
And finally on the shelf, I have some larger books, The Berserk with Darkness, Inc., which I just got out of pure curiosity and I still need to read. And then Abra's Complete Deluxe Edition. Really cool that this one provided some inspiration for Chainsaw Man and also has some of my favorite art by Satomo Nihei. It's a quick read, so the story is somewhat rushed, but I enjoyed it nonetheless because of the world. It's just a beautiful edition too, but I'll review this one for you guys in the future. Nijigahara Holograph is one I picked up this month by Inio Asano, so you'll see that one in this month's haul, but I'm really intrigued by this one and it's a beautiful hardcover. And then rounding out this shelf, I have some Japanese volumes of Vagabond and one of One Piece. I got volumes that have English volumes of as well because I'm learning Japanese right now since Brad and I are planning a Tokyo trip with my brother and his girlfriend, but also because I want to save money on some more expensive series. For instance, I just saw a lot of initial D sitting on the shelf at Kino Kinia two weeks ago, so it would be nice to learn to save some money on out-of-print series as well. And then real quick, I want to show you guys some art books I have as well as some Gundam modeling books for various scratch building techniques. I'm just now getting into buying manga art books and have some on the way that I'm going to review for you guys on the channel, but I have some video game ones right now from Final Fantasy, Zelda, Fallout, Doom, and Dead Cells. My favorite's gotta be the Doom one though. But there you have it guys, that's everything. That's the end of part two. If you haven't checked out part one, that's up on the channel now as well. If you wanna see more of my collection, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was nervous to show you guys my place, but it was fun sharing my passion for collecting with you guys. Thanks as always for watching and see you guys in the next video.